there was someone in a car opposite me. And that's why I've held it there. Because it's a little bit awkward. It's just after five on Monday. I've not even edited last week, so I've started it. I know it's not a long video. Um, I've been sat here for like 20 minutes, 25. I don't know what to do, don't know what to say. My doctor just went absolutely nuts at me. Um, it's not the first time she's done it. I just don't talk about it on here. I think the last time she really upset me and I talked about it on here was back in either the last week of January or the first week of February. And you would have seen that it knocked me massively and I was quite down that week. Um, I did say that like I don't have a problem with her and stuff and for the most part I don't because she does help me but today she just went absolutely nuts at me and um, I was crying like I had tears and I was trying to not to you know when you're there like don't cry don't cry I didn't want to cry but yeah, it was hard to hold back the tears because of how horrible she was being. To be honest, there's no other word to describe it. She was being quite mean to me. All because I wanted to complain about a member of staff who was quite rude to me. And she didn't want to know, she wouldn't let me tell her what she'd said to me. And then she started having a go at me about how many appointments apparently I'm having. It's just out of order. She's done this before where I've not known what to do with myself. The first time was like last January, June. June last year was the first time she went absolutely nuts at me. She'd had a couple of small goals at me and upset me before that point. But it was last June when she went absolutely ballistic at me. And I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, I think she's gone a lot further today. I need to go in the shop, I need to get diesel. It's literally as low as it'll probably go. And I need to go home and get in bed and have a good cry. I'm trying to not cry because I'm away from the house. And I'm about to go in the shop. So... I don't particularly want to cry. But everyone knew she was going nuts at me. Um, they were in the back office listening to her. And you know like when you think I'm going to slam the door. Um, I nearly did it and I thought no the mood she's in she'll be out after me and she'll go nuts in front of the waiting room full of people and it'll look justified because I've slammed the door so I shut it a little bit harder than I would normally like not massively just so it banged a little bit just so she knew I weren't happy but she knew I weren't happy um, she went you better go before I completely lose my rag and I'm thinking if this isn't completely losing your rag I'd hate to see you do it not nice. So I finally walked around in Asda in a daze and I picked up four of my favourite yogurts. I had I've had one of these today and it was raspberry and pomegranate. It was okay. I don't love raspberry and that's why I was hesitant to get it. But in Tesco they only do that flavour. So I picked up these because I am a fan of them. I got some flash bathroom, it's still enough for a pound. Mine's just about to run out. I've got a full one in my ensuite. I've got one in my cleaning caddy that lives on the stairs to my bedroom, which I keep my cleaning products in for the first floor. And I cleaned the bath this morning so I could have a bath this afternoon, so that's why I've replaced that because it's nearly run out. I picked up these as the own Rungo coffee pods because 
the ones I've been using have run out and I wish I'd got them because I'm probably not going to like these because these were less than £2 and I can't imagine they're good. I always get Rungo and I always get a six if I can. And they're the last box in the Rungo. They had two other ones, but I went for Rungo. I got Angel Delight. These I absolutely adore and they're on offer for 150 at the moment. The glass cup. Be nice to have my coffee in it. I do have a favourite cup. This one. Um just get this £1.50 thought it'd be interesting to try that I was sitting more because I've run out of them I think I've used the last ones because I, I don't seem to have any normally I have tons of them Um, I got this before the, I've already got two bottles I don't know where I got a third it smells gorgeous but it's not something that I would want as a cleaning product like they all smell good well the ones that I like but this reminds me of like a dessert or a drink, so it's not edible. I picked these up because they said they were on offer for three fifty, but they went through as five pounds. I normally take well women vitamins, but I thought, oh, I'll save a bit of money because they're six pounds, and these said they were three fifty, but they went through as five pounds. And I do prefer the well women ones because they are catered for women. And they have things in it that men don't have on them, but this is for men and women. But I like the fact that it's got energy release complex. But then again, I have vitamin B6 separately. And I've also recently started on vitamin B12 as well. So I'm going to be doubling up the doses here. Well, it won't be double because these are a thousand microgram. And in here, the vitamin B12. It's not going to. Oh, it's, there it is. Where's B12? Is 2.5 something. Is it grams? It can't be grams. It'd be megagrams. So I'll be having more than I meant to. And the vitamin B6. I've been on them since, well, a year, a year ago because I was having problems. If you're a female, you'll know what I mean. Vitamin B6, so it's 2 micrograms. And these are 100. So, we'll see how I get on. These from my dad, I didn't ask for them, I just picked them up. And I thought I'd try some Blue Diamond Almond Breeze. Um, it's an unsweetened one. They do have sweetened. I love sweetened almond milk, but the last almond milk I got there is unsweetened as well. Um, I didn't pick up any Pepsi and Max because my doctor's upset me. So, this is what I got. Um, I did buy something, I'll show you in a minute. I ate it, well, I ate most of it. Because um, I've not eaten today. I got a sausage bap. I think that's what these are called, yeah. I ate two thirds of it. So I've had to eat today. I'm thinking of going out to Tesco just to get some Pepsi. What do you think, everyone? I know you can't answer me, and I'm probably am going to go. Um, my tea is a uh, cottage pie. I might have them, or I might save them. Um, what date's on it? The 22nd, yeah, I'm going to have them tomorrow, and the day after. My new cup. Some more Sephora. Angel July. I wanted a cake, and I forgot to get a cake. I still have a jar full, but the box that I had opened is gone. So it's several hours later. Well, three. I'm not home. Um, I've been home. It took forever because there was like some kind of police incident, and there was like police cars flying around and then traffic backed up and stuff. Went home, and I'm so upset. I don't want to be at home. Um, so I came out, been in the shop, got my prescription. She didn't give me everything. I knew there was something that is due tomorrow, but because she's put some of it on, um, work and order it whenever I want. Um, so I'm gonna have to go to the doctor tomorrow when I don't want to. 
I'd rather chop my head off than go in there again. So, just been in one shop and I've come to this shop, it shuts in like just over half an hour. I'm gonna have a wander around and then go home. Um, I'm not happy at what she said to me and how she had a go at me and how when she could see, like I had tears in my eyes because I was forcing myself not to cry. I was just like, and she could see I was upset and she carried it on. Like she's meant to be a doctor and she's meant to care. But she's done this to me before, like you will have remembered. In February I was so upset. I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, hopefully I won't take it as bad because I am on medication to help stop me from feeling things, but I've been really struggling lately. I've been very down. Like one of the first things I told her was like I'm on edge, I'm anxious. And that was only because I was seeing her because I knew she was gonna kick off. Um and I was like, I shouldn't be anxious around you, should I? And she's like, no, you shouldn't. Yeah, well, I'd, when I know what's coming, I should. Um, and I said, I'm very down, my mood's low. I went to kill myself on Saturday. Oh, what made you stop? I don't know. Do you want me to do it? I told her when I was leaving, like, I feel like I'm gonna kill myself. She went, oh, grow up. So I kept thinking just to prove her wrong, I should do it. I'm gonna go in the shop. everyone so I don't know if I filmed Monday I think I filmed Monday but I don't know if I did so it's Wednesday quarter past day I've just got to the supermarket the plan was to go out at 6 but I weren't even dressed I think I've been dressed since 7 7 15 um, just been talking to my dad um, I'm really really unwell I've got these spots here that are massive and they're throbbing like mad um, that's not what's wrong with me but they're making me feel unwell also, I did burn, where is it? Oh, it's that way around. You see, the burnt my hand badly on Sunday night and the blisters burst on my finger. It's like the worst place ever for it to burn. Well, it would have been worse on my fingertips. So, because I've not even edited tomorrow's vlog, which is gonna to be tonight's task. Um, I'm gonna edit it, save it as I sleep, hopefully. Hopefully get it up for six tomorrow. I still need to fill in the description box of the beauty box open boxing that went up yesterday. I managed to get that up at like five past six or something. Um, I wish I'd edited it more because I ramble on at the end about vlogs and stuff, but I think because it was like quarter to six and I'd not saved it, let alone anything else at that point, I thought just get it up and not edit it again. So it's just going to stay the way it is. I'm trying to get in the shop trying to get out quickly because if they don't have cherry pepsi marks it, it'll leave me with hardly any time to go across to a shop that shuts at nine so i'm gonna go and hopefully try and film again my hair is so soft i washed it at like 11 half 11 last night because i had planned on ringing triage this morning but i was so sick i couldn't keep awake longer than 10 seconds um yeah god i look rough look at that it's what i do 20 past one, I'm on a car park. You might be able to tell. I feel like crap, we've got a sore throat, day four. We've got a temperature, I feel ill, run down, lethargic, achy, crappy. Not rung the doctors again, because I'm avoiding my doctor. I think I've filmed very little this week, so you potentially don't know what or why I'm avoiding my doctor. Um, that is horrible. It's evil. Um, yeah. I did try and get a sneaky appointment with another doctor, but it's looking like that might not happen because someone was going to give me their appointment if they could get hold of the doctor. The other doctor, not my doctor, but the other doctor's not following them, so they're going to have to go to their appointment, but they need to see the doctor anyway. But they were going to let me have it because they said they are not as ill as me and they were going to make another appointment to go at another time but yeah the doctor hasn't rung back and the appointment is in an hour um and i'm about 10 miles away so i would need to know in about half an hour maximum to get there but i'm going to go in this shop um then i'm going to go to another shop 
but obviously if I do get a phone call to say I've got the appointment, I'll be going to that and I've got to go because there's people heading this way. They had a right good stare at me then. I've not even edited today's vlog. I know I've started it and I know it's like a 30 minute vlog or 25 minutes or something like that. I need to finish it and try and get it up for six. So let's get in the shop otherwise. If I do get given the appointment, I need to get out of here pretty quick. So I need to go in because I've been here 10 minutes nearly and I've not even gone in. I'm at another shop. I really struggled in the last shop. I almost fainted twice and it's scary, do you know what I mean? Like you're walking around a shop and you're feeling like you're gonna faint. My chest is really tight as well and it's not because I'm anxious. I got anxious when I thought I was gonna faint because I didn't wanna faint in the shop. No one wants to faint in the shop. I've fainted in this shop a couple of times before now and um, once no one tried to help me. Um, the last time, a member of staff was stood over me asking me if I wanted an ambulance and I refused and I went to my doctor's instead and she actually saw me. Um, I doubt she'd see me today because she's not very happy with me. She went absolutely ballistic at me because of a receptionist who thinks she's in control, in charge, called Danielle. I always call her Mini Danielle, I don't know if I've said it on here, I've said it on Instagram a lot. Mini Allison because she's as bad of as if not worse than Allison, but she's younger than Allison, but she's absolute nightmare. Um, so I'm gonna go in this shop, um, get something to eat. I don't feel hungry, but I know I need something to eat. Can you tell I've not straightened my hair in days? I'm gonna wash it tonight because it's food shop Friday tomorrow, and I don't want to have to like this. Oh, someone's got some gorgeous pink hair. I love a bit of pink hair. I don't think I've got the balls to go pink. I know I need to get my roots done and my hair cut, but who knows when that's gonna be. Because my hairdresser shut shop. She's rented a chair somewhere else and never bothered to get in contact, but I weren't gonna go to where she's gone to because I didn't feel comfortable. And I was gonna see if she could do mine from home, but she's never bothered to contact me. So I'm going to quickly show you what I got from Tesco. I was getting these from Asda last year. Um, they're not always, always in season so when I find out they're in season I start to buy them. I spotted this flavour and tropical flavour in Tesco and I was like oh I've never seen tropical. I didn't get them. I wish I had now because knowing my work I probably won't see them again. But I've had the candy floss ones, not from Tesco, but I've always liked them. I've got a ham sandwich for my lunch, even though it's half past three. Um, I nearly said that was a ham sandwich then. Pack of four luxury soft toilet rolls. Two free range corn fed skinless chicken breast fillets. Two strawberry flat yogurts were on offer for either 60 or 70p. I can't remember which one. Cherry Pepsi Max. And I've just opened this. Can of Diet Coke because I'm dying for a drink. You can tell I've hardly got any makeup on. Do you know what? I have got a super light foundation on, but I've got a face cream on that's making it look like I haven't got a foundation on. Does that make sense? It looks like I've got one on there just for the simple reason I put powder on the, 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 sometimes on my nose, but never on my cheeks or down here. So, that's doing my head in. I've been tempted to get some hairdresser scissors and chop it myself. Um, but not go, you know, like, don't cut it, cut it to the length that I want it at, just in case I make a mistake. So, do you know, like, take a little bit off. Um, I've been thinking of doing that for the last couple of weeks and I've not bought any. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my roots because they don't really bother me because they're not dark. But I think if they were dark, um, I would have sorted them by now. Hi, by the way. Um, 
I need to edit the vlog that's due up at six o'clock. And I don't know what time it is, hold on. It's five o'clock. Um, I'm sure I brought my hairbrush in. I've lost my hairbrush. But I think it might be in my car. Do the one with a handle? I've probably shown it at some point. Um, so then I've got the ones that you hold. And I've got one in my boot, I think. Or in my car somewhere. Um, and then I've got another one. And I keep taking it out of the house with me. So I can brush my hair. But I brought it in earlier because I've been out again. So I showed you. You can't really see me, can you? I showed you, like, a food haul. Um and my B&M shopping I don't like that I'm going to wash my hair tonight um, so then I went out to the doctors to pick up a prescription that I ordered Tuesday and I could have picked up from Wednesday which was yesterday oh god I look like a tramp don't I look at that um I don't look like myself at the moment, but then again, I don't feel like myself. Um, and I had a few other things that I needed to order. Um, so I just went and ordered them. And then the doctor just phoned me about 10 minutes before I started filming again. Um, because she found out I wanted an appointment, not my doctor. My doctor isn't until next week now, and I don't particularly want to see my doctor. Um, so I got a message to this other doctor via someone who went to see her today um, and she just phoned me and asked me if I need an appointment for tomorrow and I said yes and then she started talking about what she thinks it is and I was like it's definitely not that um, but she always goes off what I've been in for last but when I saw my doctor Monday because she went oh you saw doctor such and such on Monday about that I went I didn't so she kicked off on me on Monday, went absolutely ballistic and in a note she wrote I went about something else that I didn't go about maybe that's to cover herself, I don't know because um, she just went you went about such and such and I'm there like definitely didn't go about that um, and it isn't that that's wrong with me I also need to change my next appointment with my doctor um, because they booked it in the morning and I don't want it in the morning. I'm staring at myself because I'm like looking over there because I'm probably going to have to zoom in because I don't know what you can see. It's receipts, you can see that. Um, I thought it was that cupboard there. Anyway. I'm going to edit the vlog. I don't think there's much left to edit. I'm going to save it, upload it, schedule it and get it up for six. my big bag of drugs that I've just got from there. There is a big bag. The time I went out of before I started the recording. I've not been home. Just opened these seven hours after I got them. So I'm going to take these, they're antibiotics, because I'm sick. So I'm going to walk you quickly through Aldi shopping. I keep getting these and I keep forgetting to eat them. I've got to eat this. Toffee Sunday had it before, it's not bad. Kinder chocolate, never had this before, thought I'd give it a try. The Liqueura Mighty Shampoo, it's a take on of the Aussie Mega Shampoo. It doesn't smell as good as the Mega Shampoo, but it's 99p a bottle and also it's cruelty free. And I found out the Aussie one isn't, even though it's good and I wash my hair with it a few times a week. I'm you I'm washing I'm not gonna waste it. I'm, I am gonna use what I've got, but I'm hoping for an alternative, but I don't expect great things. I got a red funded diet, I got this pen. If you know, you know Mrs. Hinch uses one of these. Um I've already got a rose gold one somewhere. They had different colours, it was £1.50, I just liked it, it's a bit of fun isn't it? 
I got a basil and oregano passata, two barbecue beans. I believe these were released last week, but I didn't go to Aldi last week because I was sick. And also Danielle upset me to the point where I didn't want to live anymore and I didn't leave the house till like 7 o'clock at night because I took a load of tablets, didn't I? To try and kill myself, but we won't talk about that. Whole grain rice, two packets of bean sprouts, mature cheddar from my dad, wild rocket. Treat bag of Maltesers and a treat bag of Minstrels. I've bought this. It's a Skittle bowl. Do you know, like when you go bowling, it's the same shape. Probably not as big. Um, I don't drink enough water and I'm trying to encourage myself. I also picked purple, A, because I love purple, and B, because I've got this one. This is smaller. I really should take one out with me, even if I'm just popping to the doctors which is getting more and more stressful. I need to try and remember to tell you what Danielle's done today. I didn't even get to talk about what she did last week because I didn't film, did I? Anyway, I got a pack of chicken portions for my dad. I got this, just like um, a single bag of sweet popcorn for me. Two cans of Diet Coke, sweet mini peppers, baby plum tomatoes, rice pudding for some it says it's serves four but it isn't that big. The best chicken breast slices, salmon fillets from my dad, pears, stuffed cherry peppers with ricotta, marinated with tomatoes with garlic and oregano. I was going to get one of these of a week. They had grey ones of a week because grey is what colour I would want. But all they had left was blue, a million white and a couple of mint. So I've gone with blue. A 0% Greek yoghurt. I think I'm going to need to get some honey. I mean that's obviously gonna do some flowers and a cucumber and that is Aldi if it sounds like I'm talking quieter it's because my dad's home so the first thing from Tesco is this fusually run guy never seen anything like that before and it's quite a big bag um, so I thought I'd get that the celery was on offer for 25p I got some sweet and fiery beetroot, some pomegranate seeds, a 12 pack of mini cheddars for my dad, dense sticks for the dog, candy floss grapes, got some the other day, I've been snacking on them since I got home, the ones that I've already got, some bacon, misfits, beef patty, beetroot, have I said beetroot? I feel like I have, egg noodles, got one of these the other day because they're nothing for a pound, so I picked the second one, there's hardly any left. On the shelf in Tesco, so people must be stocking up on them. Probably last me about ten weeks. Probably do, I do an average of two wash loads a week, but I don't always use them. Depends. These are on offer for sixty p, so I picked up three. The mini rolls are still on offer for I think one pound twenty or one pound fifteen. They're still on offer for seventy five p. Two bottles of cherry Pepsi Max and five normal Pepsi Max. Some Kleenex tissues for my dad, two filtered milk, one unsweetened almond milk, that was an offer for 150 two one litre bottles of Evian, chopped tomatoes, two caramel macchiatos, and this rose Garnier Skin Active moisturiser, which I've been using on my face for the last three days because I got one of these, one of them the other day. And the last thing rolls and that is everything that I got from Tesco and it came to around the same as my Aldi shopping but there isn't as much <sighs> the next shop you'll hopefully see is Marks and Spencer's but to be honest with you I don't know where I'm going to put all this shopping it's getting dark outside I've just had to get changed into this and because I'm pouring in sweat so I'm going to show you what I got from Max Spencer's. It was the first shop I went to. These are for my dad. Two for £1.50 or a pound a box. I haven't actually tried them. I love these and now they've got these versions in. They're only yellow on the back. But they've got this new packaging. This new colour. don't really need one. <laughs> but I've got them. Blackcurrant juice jelly. Love these. They've actually got fruit in. I know I show every time. Sugar free butterscotch drops, if you know, I like these for when I'm driving. I get Worthy's Originals as well, but they're full of sugar. Oh my god, 
that's the second thing I picked up. That was the first, second, third. Five pound for all those gorgeous cherries. Don't know where they're gonna go because the fridge is actually packed. Chicken stir fry, fajita chicken stir fry. I'm gonna have them Sunday meatballs, pine nuts, sausage rolls, tomato puree, avocados. These normally come in the box bigger than this, and now they're doing these size ones, which is pretty much a standard size. But they had both of the sizes on the shelf. But I just went for the small box because you get the same amount of capsules, but less packaging. Chicken pie for me, some oat cakes for my dad, and a half of that. I did get a small diet coke as well and a chicken pasta salad which was disgusting and not worth £3.30. I should have just ate the sausage rolls at lunchtime. I think that's it. It was like £30. Pound. From B&M. I'm eating a grape, sorry. I got a cherry pizza max times two. Twenty past nine. Pencil shadows, but I've got this George Wilkinson Essentials apron. It was two pounds. I keep seeing it, but because it's not clearly marked that it's two pounds, I didn't know. So I took the risk because I do need an apron, and I got it. This isn't the full size box of Kellogg's. I've never seen one this size before, and it was next to the full size ones. Look, I don't have massive hands, um, so you can see it's not big. It was next to the full size, you know, the average size one, and it looked adorable and it was a pound and I've had cornflakes in years. So I thought, I really want that, so I got it. Got these originally a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to zoom in. Um, never seen them on the shelf before. I've seen them on Instagram and stuff, but never seen them. Walking down the cleaning aisle and I spotted two bags of them four or five weeks ago. Picked up a bag next time I went in because I went to get more. Didn't have any in. Um, but about two or three weeks ago they had the liquid so I've got the liquid as well and I'm alternating between them but I do prefer the capsules just because it's easy and you don't have to measure it out you just shove one or two in the washing machine so I spotted two at the back of the shelf so I picked up one should have got two but then again it's September and just over a week um, and I've probably got enough coconut scented products to last me till October or afterwards and you don't really need it all year round and I think I've shown that and that's it I don't know how I'm gonna oh god I don't know how I like the fridge my buddy house is a big fat tip as you can see see you covered I've not this is not a secret medication that's alcohol free just in case anyone's wondering oh I need to start having cereal I did get milk today so I need to get back on the cereal. I'm gonna have that tomorrow.